In fact, I, I would just say that one of the things that uh, we learned somewhat early in this was that there was a kind of, um, we call it today, we call it conflict fundraising. Uh, when, the, when animal rights is involved rather than regular animal welfare concerns being involved, there's a particular MO to uh, the campaign. And the campaign, for one thing, it requires a villain. In order for them to raise money, you have to have a villain. In order to raise money, they have to have a victim. So there's always a picture of a sad animal or a story about some terrible thing happening to an animal. And then the animal rights group sort of rides into town on their white horse to save the day. And people don't maybe notice until afterwards that they didn't actually do anything to help animals. So that's a real fundamental difference right there between, between animal rights and animal welfare. Is the people who live and work with animals, whether they're hobby dog breeders, whether they're commercial breeders, whether they're research scientists, people who keep conservation centers and look after animals in that setting, or, or cattlemen, these people live and work with animals every day and they are deeply involved with and care deeply about the welfare of those animals. So what we were seeing was a completely different variety of uh, stated concern about animals that didn't really result in any improvements for animals. Uh, to give you another example, during Katrina a few years ago when we had all the terrible flooding down there, the national fundraising groups, the national animal rights groups went into town and started passing out t-shirts with their logo on it uh, so that they could get the cameras rolling and show that they had all of these people working. Well, there were lots and lots of people who did real animal welfare that were from local humane societies or from local uh, and even distant kennel clubs that had gotten in their trucks and gone down there at their own expense to actually help. So huge difference between what is promoted through the media eye of uh, the animal rights fundraising campaigns and, and the actual people who are doing the work who are on the welfare side. <laughs>